Alright, so first let's check out some Titanfall weapons. So here we've got Cold War. Charges up and then shoots a burst of four rounds that explode. Next is the Titanfall charge rifle. This differs from the Apex version by not having the beam, but you can keep the charge close uh, to finishing by feathering the trigger. You can also chuck the turbocharger on this, which gives you basically the charge track from Titanfall 2. Next we've got the EPG, so another energy explosion for what we And then the softball, which uh, launches grenades. It sounds very nice in my opinion. Moving on, we've got the Spitfire. Uh, not the Spitfire you know, it's Spitfire literally. Next we've got the flamethrower pistol. So basically, uh, high arcing bullets. Sort of like a flamethrower. And then all the bullets burn on impact. Next we've got the thermite. Uh, so basically this one shoots a shotgun blast with igniting bullets. And then we've got a secondary fire mode which shoots them further, uh, but only shoots one bullet at a time. But it's still it's fully automatic and still very, very strong. So then we've got the Nemesis Burst AR. So this one's based on a, um, a leaked weapon from, I believe it was the an arena trailer, and uh, they forgot to take it out. Uh, so we don't know exactly what it's going to be like. So this is just a basically a hemlock that shoots energy bullets. Then we've got the little ripper, uh, which is a light LMG, since Apex doesn't currently have one. Thought I'd add one in. It has an interesting whining sound while you shoot it. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Uh, then we've got the machine pistol, which is one I've recent, recently made. Um, I've actually reduced the fire rate somewhat uh, to differentiate it more from the RE45. Hits pretty hard. Um, sort of thinking f along the lines of the flat line when I made this. Then I've got the E-Man, which is uh, Energy Wingman. Does 30 damage um, a pop, but shoots a lot faster. And a bigger mag size. And also you can chuck this pew pew hop up on it. Uh, slower fire rate, but there's 50 to shot. Then we've got the shot man. I'll take this off for now. So basically this is shotgun wingman or um, shutter caps, I guess you could say. And if you chuck whoops, if you chuck this on it, then you get um, a laser shotgun sort of thing. Next got the G-Man. So nothing happens if you try and shoot it unless you have a hop-up in it. Uh, the hop-ups shoot things like frag grenades. I can pick this one up. Got the arc star. Oh, well, it's not damaging. The layer's not going far enough. There we go. Then we've got the jibby hopper. So, uh, we've got, so it launches jibby basically. And of course, because he's a, a large boy, he shakes the ground a lot when he hits. Next, we've got the tack burn. So the attack man is just a normal, normal wingman, except you can take a lot of attachments like this select fire, which makes it burst. Now you can put this scope on it, which is uh, not very useful when it's in bursts, but it's fun. Uh, and you can also put, if I can pick it up, there you go, uh, the suppressor. Uh, then we've got the attack Eva 8. Uh, so you can put a suppressor on this and add this scope obviously. Uh, doesn't not very useful at range unless you put the slug hop up on it as well, then it's very useful. Next with the TAC PK. So the TAC PK is uh, pretty much the same thing as the TAC EVA. Uh, except it does the peacekeeper damage, so slow fire rate and whatnot. 
Uh, then we've got the sniper P2020. So it's essentially P2020 that's heavy. I I guess that you can suppress it as well. So it's been suppressed. Uh, and you can put the scope on it. A little bit more damage at range. And then we've got the Quaba. This is just a Quaba that you can put attachments on it. Uh, so you can put this scope on it. You can also put the funny selector on it, uh, which, well, makes the mag bigger. And you can turn it full auto. Now I've got the auto hemlock. So normal burst is fine, but then if you switch it to auto, it's basically the burst, but without any gap in between. Uh, so very strong, as you might imagine. This is one of the first videos I did in it. Did very well, so I thought I'd chuck it in here. It's sort of more of a commemoration thing than anything. And next, we've got the Smart R99. So, this is the Smart Pistol from Titanfall, but chucked on an R99 and uh, made a lot stronger. Uh, next, they've got the Death Reaper, which is uh, probably the strongest weapon I could think of. I'm not sure if I need to say much more about that one. Uh, now I've got the Slow Mastiff. So it's just a normal ma um, care package Mastiff, except it shoots very slow bullets. Also, if you jump in front of them, well, it doesn't do any damage to you. All right, so next we've got quite a unique one, the Light Painter. So when you shoot this, the muzzle flash just stays there and doesn't go away until you holster your weapon. Now uh, you can use this to create some interesting designs and paint. Kind of like this. Alright, so now we've got the Impulsator. So this weapon, well it's not really too, so much of a weapon. Uh, it only does one damage. And um, does it from quite a distance, but if you shoot near yourself, well, it sends you flying. Uh, honestly, this one's probably one of my favourite weapons. It's hilarious to use. And finally, we've got the rocket launcher, which launches Jubi bombs as bullets. 